Hey guys, it's February 15th and I just wanted to introduce uh, another friend, another Lyme people. So Jill and I met, what, like three weeks ago? Yeah, about yeah, that. At the hostel. Um, actually, I was in a state where I didn't even want to come downstairs and she was in a state and we kind of just met in this funky, weird way and I was just like, okay, hi, good to meet you, whatever. She kept getting stuck in my mind and I was like, I need to speak to this girl and tell her just sorry for my interaction with you, that's not my norm. And so we finally, what, like five days later, four days later, met and started talking. And I was like, I really apologize, I was just having a, a low day. She's like, oh no, I go through that too. And then we started talking just about life. And I was like, yeah, so I had been diagnosed with Lyme. And she's like, me too. <laughs> and I was like, what? And from that moment on, it was just amazing to see how our stories were so similar. So many parallels. And. Can you share like when you got diagnosed, when you went down, like what happened for you? Because okay. I feel like it was yeah. super similar to mine, but every Lyme story is a little bit different. And we have all these crazy similarities, but like we said before, it's like, this is gonna help so-and-so, and this is gonna help so-and-so, and yeah, so yeah, maybe a little absolutely. bit. Absolutely. Um, I've been getting sick for as long as I can remember since I was a little kid probably, but I've only been diagnosed with Lyme for the last two years. Um, and that was through starting to go to all sorts of different holistic people because the Western medicine doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong. Uh, my symptoms didn't line up. They just kept trying to write me prescriptions for antidepressants, painkillers, muscle relaxers. Oh, you have fibromyalgia. Um, it's like the modern day yeah, hysteria. Absolutely. Yeah. And one doctor even told me about phantom pains that uh, amputees sometimes have in limbs that they no longer have. And so he basically just told me like, this pain is in your head. Um, but you know the doctors they just tap on your knee a few times and listen to your breath and say here's this for this symptom here's that for that symptom and I'm like no I want to know what's wrong with me why can't you tell me why I'm in so much pain why can't I get out of bed for days at a time why do I live in a ski town and I don't want to go skiing or rock climbing anymore because I'm just in so much pain my muscles my joints everything I was so lethargic um, all sorts of weird symptoms, really cold all the time. My fingertips would hurt so badly I couldn't open a soda can. Um, and I would break out in these rashes and my digestion was terrible, sometimes for months at a time. And then you'd go through periods of feeling normal and amazing. You're like, okay, I'm, I'm fine, my life is back and I can ski and I can walk normally and I can eat normally and live life. Yep, and it's like I would forget about the bad times yeah. because it felt so good to be feeling good again. And you like go balls to the wall and you're like, okay, here's my life. And then all of a sudden, boom, crash. Shock, the same thing was happening to me. And I've heard this from other people that I've met as well. It's just out of the blue. And I'm sure there are different triggers for all of us. And I know a lot of mold, like you are dealing with some mold issues. Down here in Costa Rica, it's Everything's moldy. Everything's moldy. <laughs> and the deeper you go into the jungle, the more mold. And it's just, it's this humid rainforest environment. And I feel as if that like may have spiked because you went down pretty hard. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually, we met right before I started a, a 21 day yoga teacher training. And so we've been keeping in touch a little bit and both of us have been kind of struggling with going down and um, <laughs> people that have never experienced this or have never met someone with limes, they're just like, so, so like your back just hurts? And I'm like, no, like <laughs> everything hurts. So for the last week of yoga school, I couldn't even practice yoga. It was so frustrating and it was so isolating. I'm just laying on a mat because laying down was the only position I could be in while everybody else does yoga and, and attends lectures and I'm just laying there and everyone just kind of looks at me with pity. like Which we don't want. We don't want the pity. We just want our lives back. We just want to live healthy and happy. I mean, we're both super active humans and a lot of other people that I know going through this were like these hardcore active people and then boom you're down can't go to work can't go hang out with your friends everyone's like oh come on it's not that bad like you have just no get idea. get dressed and come join us it's like getting dressed is a chore mm -hmm. walking is a chore going to the toilet is a chore same thing as I laid on the floor for like a year <laughs> <laughs> staring at the ceiling what is yeah. this why why do we feel this pain and I've always just run from it you know smoke weed, take the prescription medications, drink some boxed wine, watch some <laughs> Netflix, but I can't live like that for the rest of my life. I want to figure out why we chose these bodies, why we chose these diseases, and how we can help other people. Yeah. Um, 
I'm so excited to find some <laughs> things to make us feel better and to share those with others. Yeah. And it, I think, I mean, all is, you know, divine timing and whatever. And just meeting another human in the flesh uh, who understands. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Someone who has felt that pain, mm -hmm. who gets it. It's amazing. I mean, not that we're suffering, but it's Well, cool. and not that I want anyone else to suffer as right. badly as I have, but to see, to look in your eyes and to just know. Exactly. That you know. That you know. <laughs> and we were talking a little bit earlier about how we believe that this pain has come to us to help us like wake up like I've said before in some other videos it's like okay why is this happening like Ram Dass is always like oh love the pain love the pain you're like okay I love the pain okay I'm gonna move through this pain you're like okay but what's why? The, what the fuck why? This pain? why is this happening what's going on and of course it's to teach us and bring us together and I mean, who knows what the future holds with Lyme and studies and, and the, you know, the, oh, just all of it. It just feels like too much. Mystery illness. It is. I mean, it seems like there's so much information out there, too. I don't know what to believe, and it just gets so overwhelming, and sometimes I just go with the ups and the downs and don't think about it. I'm just like, oh, I'm limey. That's my life. I'm feeling <laughs> limey today. <laughs> Maybe I won't in a few weeks, but mm -hmm. sometimes it lasts for months for me, and mold has been a huge, huge trigger. And, I don't know why I didn't put two and two together with coming to a yoga teacher training in the rainforest, in the jungle, but we were staying in these shipping containers, which were so cool, really eco-friendly place, um, amazing vegan food, it was, it was lovely, but the inside of the container with the mold on the walls, all of my clothes got moldy, my shoes, my hats. Within and a week. Yeah, it's great. within a week, yeah. and I went down hard. I mean, first it started with just the back pain, and I'm like, oh, maybe I did something wonky in yoga and threw it out but then you know slowly over a couple of days it was my whole body just debilitating lethargy like I couldn't even get into child's pose let alone do a full yoga practice or sit through an hour-long lecture everything I was eating was making me so sick and I finally just sat with my feelings and did some meditation and I asked for clarity and um, you know, I'm still not there yet, but I think there is a purpose mm -hmm. for this pain and for our paths crossing. For and sure. I'm so excited to get this message out and find more limey people so that we can support <laughs> each other yeah. in figuring out why, why and and how and who. Yes, for sure. And also with Lyme and any other type of illness, it's really it's time for us to, to help each other rise up to the root of our pain. And you know, like we say, in these 3D physical bodies, what is triggering us to wake up to it and not to numb it? It's time we break, break away from the numbing and wake up. And find the people that understand. The doctors didn't understand. Years and years of me going to different doctors explaining my symptoms and just having them write it off like I was making it up. And mm -hmm. even friends who were um, sympathetic, you know, they, they had no idea. I would be walking up a, a flight of stairs and I'd have to stop halfway up because my muscles just burned so much and I was out of breath and I had a friend look back at me once and say, oh, come on, it's not that bad. Like, <laughs> how, no how dare you? Mm -hmm. You think that I want this? No, I want to be out skiing and rock climbing and enjoying my life and being grateful to my body, yeah. which I'm really, I struggle with when I feel so much pain like you were saying the other day like I'm ready to just end this mm -hmm. I don't want to feel this anymore but it, it was good for me to be stuck up in the jungle at yoga school <laughs> where I couldn't go to my typical methods of numbing mm -hmm. and I had to sit with that pain and question why why is this happening for me for oh. me I love that why is this <laughs> happening for me yes and it is it's happening for us like once again wake up to something and just bringing each other together to find holistic ways of medicine find alternate there's just so much out there that's coming out with you know biofeedback machines yes. and it's find what works for you and we've said this before is like what feels good for you and if you don't have the cash maybe you could what you're a barter trader I, yeah, aren't you? yeah yeah jill of all trades there i have <laughs> found some practitioners who have children that i babysit or maybe i go clean their office or um, help them organize something just because i don't have a lot of money i can't hold a job 
for long periods of time because I'll go down mm -hmm. and for three months I'm limey <laughs> I don't want to get out of bed no one understands my pain and I'm so grateful that our paths crossed and I'm so excited to get this message out to other people so that we can share what we've tried what works for us but also just people to be there for each other someone to talk to when we feel like crap because I'm sick of isolating I just introvert when I feel like crap because nobody they can't see my pain mm -hmm. and they don't know how to be there for me and I just hate everyone and everything <laughs> when I go down that hard and I just stop talking to people and then I'm stuck in my own head and my own body wondering why and I'm so excited to find more more limey people yes. so that we can be there for each other we're taking it to the next level for sure we are there's no stopping us now <laughs> so yeah let's just keep on healing and yeah taking it to the next level and diving deep into the pain and finding ways that we can just help each other and help ourselves and what feels good for you what works for you it's the most important thing try it all I mean, or nothing, or stay in your little world, and that's okay too. Whatever your journey is, is okay. But we see you, we hear you, yes. we love you, <laughs> yeah. we know what it's like mm -hmm. dealing with these mystery illnesses, and it's for a purpose. It's for a purpose. We got this. Yeah, girl. <laughs> All right. Love you. <laughs>